Hello, we are Geeks of Luxembourg. I'm standing yeah. here with uh, Francis <laughs> yeah, that's from right. Dr. Holding. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I work there till two years as a software architect. Yeah. You're working as a software architect? What? Yes, that's right. Yeah. What, uh, what does the software architect? Mm, on my side, it's about um, R&D, about uh, working with uh, open source technologies and uh, working on some uh, internal frameworks uh, for helping the other guys and the other teams uh, to develop uh, the front-end part. Mm -hmm. So, um, we are here at the Hackathon at the uh, GIS Kinemption Forum. The um, question is, what is the Hackathon? Mm -hmm. well, how would you describe what's happening here? The idea was to, I think, uh, the Clerc contributes with uh, Farvest uh, to um, organize something uh, big and to make some inspiration, some uh, collabority uh, with developers. Uh, because uh, I think there was no big precedence about it. Uh, and um, it's a good initiative because uh, last year there was uh, the first edition. It was a bit successful and I think uh, the second edition confirms uh, this intention. But how many people came last year? Mm, I could not say I don't have the right number. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it was like around 40 teams of developers, so okay. sounds cool. Now, uh, this event more? The, the today more or less? I heard there were more, yeah. That's, and, um, that's great. It was not planned, so that's so great. So the event is well. growing. Yeah, that's right. This is the meaning of the event, yeah, to bring inspiration and to make uh, people meeting each other. What exactly are the people doing at the Hackathon? People are coding normally. Uh, Every people is coder or is around the, I mean, the, the, the coding, uh, coding cloud. You can have some uh, graphical guys or some um, guys that are more oriented on the business side, but most of them are uh, coders and developers, so they like programming. And so there are two challenges and they choose one. They make a team and they try to reach the goal during 24 hours. What are the challenges uh, that you have set up? So there are two. There is one that is uh, proposed by uh, the government, and uh, it's about uh, open data. Um, it was there was one last year, like this one, and so they open their uh, their, their data, and uh, you can propose uh, any application that can uh, is about mobility or weather or everything. The second one is proposed by Docker Holding, and um, it's about uh, distorted reality. What do uh, what you mean with distorted reality? So last year we chose the um, artificial intelligence, he was there, I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this year we, we tried to propose uh, something uh, that could bring some uh, creativity and inspiration. Because when you are a developer, normally, like me or like uh, all those guys, you spend your time daily to work and to use the REST API to make forms. and. It can be a bit boring, so we try to, um, to innovate and um, to bring back uh, to the roots, to the guys. And Distorted Reality is about, um, it's like a free topic, about um, imaginating parallel worlds, something um, where the reality, reality could be uh, twisted. So it can be like uh, immersive worlds with a VR headset and uh, with uh, music, environment, particles, something graphical. Or it could be something more absurd or surrealist uh, uh, based on um, any idea that could bring uh, a crazy world. So what are the prizes that the people get when they win uh, the so the prizes are different for the both challenges. Um, the challenge named Distorted Reality is sponsored by Docker Holding. So they offer the traveling tickets around the world for a certain amount of prize. I don't have the number in head. And about the open data, I think it's a real money from 4,000 to 1,000. Okay. Um you said um, Dicotone is uh, done by uh, Dolce Holding. What can you... It's sponsored. Uh, yeah. sponsored. It's not uh, done by... Okay. Mm -hmm. What is Dolce Holding? Dolce Holding is um, a big holding uh, that is responsible of uh, many uh, small companies. And um, I think uh, his big specialization is uh, around and about uh, video streaming. They, they try to make an empire based on uh, video. So you are uh, video... Uh, Dolce Holding is video streaming mostly. Um, just for example, if somebody wants to know uh, where come the people mostly in contact with the, uh, that, so where would you find Dolce Holding involvement? Sorry, well, I didn't get the right well, uh, So mm -hmm. for example, if mm -hmm. you say uh, video streaming, yeah. um, mm -hmm. 
which side uh, would we see a Daltra holding, uh, for example? When, I, when I'm thinking video streaming, I see uh, YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. Twitch. Uh, ah, okay, in this way, yeah. yeah. So the cloud holding has uh, many companies and they are trying to make some R&D and uh, they've got many applications. About the size, I'm, I'm a software architect, you know, okay. I don't have the real numbers. Yeah. You should talk with a, a, a PR guy. But uh, it's pretty big because now they've got uh, many studios around the world. Uh, uh, in Los Angeles, uh, a new one in Italy, uh, one in Amsterdam, uh, one in Budapest. And, and this one, in, I could maybe give you some numbers about this one. I think this one is like uh, with 240 people in Luxembourg. So it's good with uh, like uh, 180 developers. Okay. It's just for the people that don't know the, the mm -hmm. that they can maybe and know a little bit what is the company, uh, yeah, that they have right. an idea about it. And we search for, uh, for developers and for people that are qualified yeah, for working in engineering, so they can apply. Yeah. There's also the other question. Mm -hmm. uh, the people that are coming in here that uh, win maybe uh, first to third place or they're doing really good code, uh, maybe not winning because of mm -hmm. the judges, but have they a chance to gain a job here with the Dolce Holding or is that just something that is not possible here? If they got some skills, they should definitely apply yeah, because we are really uh, open to any new talent. So, with great pleasure. Yeah. Okay. And um, how came it about that you organized a hackathon in Luxembourg? That's the, you, uh, when I see the map there with Dolce Holding, there's mm -hmm. uh, Budapest, Luxembourg, and Los Angeles. So, how came it that you're doing one uh, here? because one of our biggest studios is in Luxembourg. And I think uh, the intention was to make some uh, real life inside the developers community. So to push talents to communicate to each other, to work together. And uh, this event is a kind of great opening for doing that, I think so. The hackathon, how uh, the etap that are there, the people coming here, they have the presentation mm -hmm. and then it starts, it's 24 hours. What do they need to do in those 24 hours? Yeah, so you should know there's a lot of pressure. I mean, uh, sure, you arrive, normally you you get your team before. I mean, you you started to, to find the topic, you, you meet the guys. Some guys sometimes just meet here. It's, a, it's a, like a miracle. But anyway, you have 24 hours and 24 hours is very short when you want to develop a, a real project and want to think about something that is um, um, workable, exploitable. And um, the risk is, uh, you know, when you reach the latest hours, uh, you are very tired, uh, you didn't sleep, and uh, you can be, you know, totally uh, lost uh, in your dreams and don't reach your final goal. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that must be heavy to uh, sitting there 24 hours. You need to your idea, you need to mm -hmm. code it, and uh, then you also need the presentation afterwards. That's right, yeah. So you still need to be healthy for that. Yeah, <laughs> okay. How is the session mm -hmm. when it starts compared to the end, let's say the last two hours on the event? Do you, did you feel last year that the people got more nervous or more stressed? Or was it mostly that the people are done uh, informed and they could relax a little bit afterwards to prepare for the presentation? I'm sure you already saw this kind of TV series, you know, when the uh, action character, the hero, try to, you know, uh, <laughs> put off a bomb with a... Uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> so you see this country? It's totally the same. Uh, more you reach the limit, uh, more you are stressed and more you are in an uh, emergency mode. <laughs> and um, it's very hard to think uh, and to be efficient when it's, there is one hour left or half an hour. And uh, it's amplified by one uh, just specific thing is uh, you didn't sleep or you sleep so less that uh, you know you can uh, really uh, lose everything. You should try definitely one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the uh, 24 hours, you have. Uh, you done your code. You mm. worked your uh, your ass off to get that finished. Like a miner. And you have your presentation. Uh -huh. You go on the stage there, and then uh, one error, one thing in your code is wrong. You have not the time to fix it. Uh, the idea is great. The idea is working in theory. How you look at it, uh, does you judge just if it works at the end, or also if the idea maybe is good, or for example, another. Uh, uh, 
So mm -hmm. when someone has a great idea, a functional product, but a bad presentation, mm -hmm. how is that compared? So as you can imagine, you, you answer a bit to the question. We have a few criteria and we try to make a right balance between uh, each criteria. So one of them is execution. So as you say, an application should work because uh, if you produce a thing that is just a look to see and uh, you can imagine what it should be and it mm -hmm. doesn't, it's, uh, it's a big shame. Another one is, uh, is based on uh, innovation and um, the, the application uh, should prove a great idea and uh, so the presentation is, is, uh, is there for that and another one is creativity. So if your project doesn't work in the last hour, it can happen and it happened many times, believe me. Uh, it's not a big deal, I mean not everything is based on that. And I think more than that, uh, it's not a big deal to, to lose because uh, most of the people that are there will lose, you know, there are yeah. just a few winners. It's a bit cliche to say that, but uh, the most important thing is to participate and to be the other guys and to code. Because uh, when you come here for 20 years, four hours, it's more like a patient, you know, than uh, an ultimate goal or like a competition. Okay. Um, this is the second time you've done Hackathon here. Mm -hmm. uh, will next year also be one? Do Definitely. you know that all that? Definitely. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Because it works so well, I think now we want to continue and to go forward and to make it bigger and bigger each year. It will be great. So for every hacker coder out there, if you did not come last year, this year, you mm -hmm. have a chance to be come welcome, yeah. 2018 to uh, take part in hackathon. To join the right goods of sports, yeah. <laughs> okay, I say, uh, Willy, thanks for the time. Thank you. Um, thank you. And uh, have a nice day. Yeah. And nice hackathon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.